as you can see from the intro video, I finally got step 7 pull-ups, so I felt pretty incredible there. I never really in my life thought I'd actually get that far, so I'm absolutely thrilled with that. I mean, over the moon. Ever since I read the uh, description on Combat Conditioning 1 about, like, uh, made famous by the Rocky 2 film, I just couldn't wait to finally, you know, do that and play it there to some montage music. So in the video I only did one rep because I hadn't fully recovered from the previous workout yet where I got to two sets of 10 close grip pull-ups really easily. So I don't know yet if I'll be able to get the beginner standard of 5 or not on it. If I can't, I'll just do as many as I can and then I will finish off the set with some negatives. Surprisingly the grip isn't really a problem for me. I was debating the last month whether I should hold the pull-up bar here or in here. And of course I get bad calluses here, but it does make me a lot stronger. Actually I was featured on an episode of Ask Al there this month, uh, asking that question. And he suggests here, and it feels stronger to me, so that's what I'm doing. I actually tried to do one of the uneven pull-ups with my grip here, and I couldn't really manage it. It was just too painful to support my weight on these bones here, the fingers. Another thing that's worth mentioning about the uneven pull-up is that... Well, I can't grip it here because it's too much on the bone, so I drop it down a bit to here. And initially, I couldn't really do the reps comfortably until I really focus on pulling with the not as hard working hand. I know that sounds really obvious, pull with both hands, but when you're doing it, it's easy to forget because it's such a such an uneven exercise that this side is on fire afterwards. So it's easy to forget you need to pull with both of them. Which is just a tip for people if they're on this step and finding it a little bit hard. So far, I haven't found it very irritable on the wrists, which is something people always complain about. So hopefully that will keep up. Next up I'll mention leg raises. Okay, so I reverted them back to step 6 and worked my way up to 2 sets of 15 there. And then I decided to add a custom step between step 6 and 7, which is basically going up in step 6 past the... How do I show this? If these are the legs, I'm going up. This is what you would normally do, and I would go up to here. So this is kind of step 6.1. And then for my step I just finished there, and got two sets of 15 on, I would come up like step six, and then stretch out into step seven and lower myself. So hopefully that illustration there kind of helped. So I go up in step 6 as far as I could and come down in step 7 basically, after a little pause. And that worked great for strength actually. I got up to 2 sets of 15 and today I went back to step 7. And I'm being less strict at myself now with the 2-1-2 timing because I just don't think it's necessary for step 7 anymore. Also, it doesn't wear my grip out so much when I'm going on to grip work after the leg raises. So all in all, it's kind of a win-win. Uh, but if, if when I get, today I got 15, 10 in them, so as soon as I get 15, 15, I'm going to do step 8, but with a 2 second negative instead of a 4 second negative, again to add another intermediate step. <laughs> Seems like the further you go in these moves, the more intermediate steps you have to add between the 10 steps. Squats are an easy one this month, still working away, absolutely nothing's changed. Still doing them on the table, still doing them one leg at a time. Weak leg followed by dominant leg, and right now I'm up to a set of 10 for both leg followed by a set of 8 for both leg. So as soon as I get two sets of 10, I'll try to get two sets of 20. Uh, if it doesn't really work so well, I might change the exercise, but so far it's been giving me pretty consistent strength gains. And something that might interest people is that I find the exercise so much easier when I'm wearing a pair of Converse. Runners don't help, barefoot doesn't, doesn't really help. Converse seems to make it a lot easier and a lot more comfortable as well. So for now I'm going to do them with Converse and if I ever progress to step 10, which I'm sure I will, I'll try doing them barefoot for an extra challenge if I can. But for now I don't think the barefoot's really necessary or even that helpful. So, squats, a-okay. Oh but one last thing as well, if you're working on one-legged squats, something that's really helped me is to stretch out the quads before it, like for a good 30 seconds each because your non-dominant leg, I mean your non-working leg, always cramps up, for me, definitely. It always cramps up if I do not stretch out the quad beforehand. So that's an important note that really kind of makes a big difference in the sets. 
because you underestimate how much the non-working leg is actually working. Uh, I kept push-ups to last today because they're probably one of the more interesting ones. So I'm on at least steps, I've gone past step six in all the big four except for push-ups. I really thought pull-ups would be the, the sticker for me, but it turns out that push-ups was. It could be because I'm being so strict with the form, which is probably the case. I don't know many people who do these ones and really focus on a two second negative, a one second contraction, and then, well, to be honest, I don't do a two second positive, it's more like a one second positive with a slight rest at the top. But if that helps me give the next rep 100%, I can't see it being a big problem. I actually got um, a set of 20, 19, a couple of, about a month ago, but I wasn't happy with the form, as I said before. Uh, I kind of felt like I was in full range of motion. And why rush, you know? Get the most from the exercises you can. So I went back and really focused on full body tension, going down, pausing, coming back up again, giving it everything I've got, basically. And the reps have been went down to about 16. Then the next workout was 17, 18, 19, and today it's 20. So I'll come as it may. I don't want it to be a hollow victory where I kind of cheated, so. I'll just do two sets of 20 with the strict form I have being and then the whole routine will change. Uh, the grip work is going quite well actually. I'm up to one set now on the uneven hangs which is one hand towel, one hand ring. I, I always use rings now. I just think they're kind of cooler and better for the joints. Also they're harder because they force you to stabilize. So I never use the bar anymore for pull ups or hanging work, just always the rings. But anyway. I'm up to one set of a minute, left hand on towel, four minutes rest, one set of a minute, right hand on towel, four minutes rest, 50 seconds left hand on towel, and four minutes rest, 45 seconds right hand on towel. So those numbers are going up bit by bit, generally by about five seconds every workout. Nothing really amazing to report with fingertip push-ups, only for the fact that I feel like I'm really kind of getting to grips with how I should put the fingers down on the ground before I tried experimenting with them being played out like this and it made it way harder and worse in the joints then I tried bringing them in and it worked a lot better so it seems like kind of keeping them in line with the forearm is the best way to go. Right now I'm doing two sets of five full push-ups and I'll go on to the close grip ones now in a while. Absolutely nothing exciting to report about calf raises you know they're kind of easy really but the endurance builds up. Right now I'm at about 4 sets of 85 reps, so another 3 workouts, or 3 weeks, I'll have 4 sets of 100 and I'll go on to the straight calf raises. <coughs> Here's a little fun anecdote to end today's vlog that uh, might encourage people to start some type of strength training or resistance training. I had my brother stag there 2 days ago, and for it we did the airsoft guns, right? And it involved a lot of running around, a lot of crouching, a lot of squatting, a lot of crouch squatting, walking. And out of all my friends who went, and all my brother's friends, and out of everybody who went, I was the only person the next day who wasn't sore in their legs from the, from the, from the whole experience. So if you're wondering whether this stuff is useful in real life, it absolutely is. If I was running for my life in the wild, I'd be very happy to not be as debilitatingly sore as some of the people I know right now. <laughs> so, you know, this stuff has far-reaching consequences in the future that you won't even realise until it happens. So, again, thanks for watching, and again, super excited about the pull-ups, and hopefully by the next month now, I'll finally be done to a whole host of new exercises and a whole new programme for good behaviour. If I do, it'll be end of September, October. It'll be 11 months on New Blood. It will have taken me 11 months to go from zero all the way to good behavior, all the way to step seven in the big four, starting step one in the other two bridges and handstands. So I have to get there first though. We'll see what happens. Oh, and lastly, if you're at all interested in my dietary approach right now, I'm doing a kind of a kind of mesh between Ori's Warrior Diet and Lean Gains. So just two meals a day, pretty much an equal mix of carbs and fats, all from whole food sources. I've also brought my protein way down because I don't feel like I need that much protein anymore. 
because my muscles just don't get that sore after these workouts. You don't go to complete failure. I don't feel like I need a lot of protein. So I have very, very little animal food right now. Mostly a vegan diet with as many flax and chia seeds as I can just to get in all those plant-based nutrients. And actually I've been feeling really awesome doing it. So if anybody's thinking about a dietary approach, it might be worth considering. It's also really good for the fasting. I can go all day without eating and no problems, which is really super handy in comparison to the old approach of six Tupperware containers. Anyway, see you next month.